two former students behind bars tonight after investigators say they stole an AR-15 from an elementary school belonging to a school resource officer. News Channel 5's Eric Hill has more on how school officials are responding to these arrests and why the gun was there. School officials told me they're relieved that the two suspects accused in this theft are now behind bars. I want to give you a look at pictures the Macon County Sheriff's Department sent us of Adam Cisneros and Lee Clark. They say the two broke into Red Boiling Springs Elementary School where they were former students. Then they shimmied through a window to get into the school resource officer's office, broke into a safe, and stole the officer's AR-15 in two tactical vests. Sheriff's deputies say they eventually found those vests and the gun in the backyard behind Lee's home. I spoke with officials at the Macon County School District and they said the decision to allow the school resource officer to have the AR-15 on campus is made by the Sheriff's Department. They are there for the protection and of our students and if that's how they, you know, if the Sheriff's Department feels that is necessary for that, then yes, I am, uh, I'm, am supportive of their policy. But, you know, we do not, we do not make those policies. But Beth Joslyn Roth with the gun violence prevention group, the Safe Tennessee Project, questioned how the former students got their hands on the gun and why an AR-15 would need to be in any school, even with a school resource officer. If you are in a situation where you're potentially trying to take a bad guy out and there are kids running around everywhere, I would think that you would want the most precise weapon possible um, and not one that was designed by the military to basically kill anybody if you even nick them with it. Jocelyn Roth added that she believes that the guns should be taken off of school grounds when the school resource officer is no longer on the campus. In the newsroom, Eric Hilt, News Channel 5.